John Paul Jones did not say, I have not begun, yet begun to fight. That was credited to him by a source that should have been good, Richard Dale, who served as his first lieutenant. But Dale did it about 46 years when he was a 65-year-old man and did it to a biographer of Jones who is famous for making up phrases that Jones did not say. So I think it was a collaboration. Jones probably said, I may sink, but I'll be damned if I'll strike. And that's the account you see in the, in the, at which the British heard, as a matter of fact. Uh, and that's the account you see in the newspapers. At the same time, there was another episode in that battle, which is uh, interesting. The British had him shooting two of his own crewmen uh, as, uh, you know, because they were trying to strike the flag. And that's when Pearson, the British uh, captain, asked him, do you surrender? Do you give up? Uh, because the bone homer shard was shot all to pieces by that point in time. But these two thought that Jones was dead, could not see any other officers, so they went to strike the flag. When Jones, who was literally sitting behind a cannon, sighting it, and he gets criticism by some naval officers, what the heck is the captain doing acting as a gunner, um, saw these guys or heard that what was going on, and he went running over to them and said, Stop them, shoot them, kill them. And, and, but when he went to shoot them, <laughs> uh, he found his, his pistols were empty. So they both bolted, uh, and he threw his pistols at the last guy, hit him in the back of the head, knocked him over, knocked him out. And that's what the British saw, so they thought for sure that he had shot them. So the, uh, the image became of John Paul Jones that he was this you know, incredibly cruel, nasty. Well, the British always portrayed him as a pirate. I mean, there is a political cartoon that was drawn for the British newspapers that John Paul Jones looks like Blackbeard the pirate. I mean, he has the hat, he has a, he's dark, he's swarthy, and nothing like how John Paul Jones actually looked. And that was the image that the British, because they feared him, and they, they were concerned about him, and they demonized him. Uh, so after the Battle of uh, Flamborough Head, the, that same process went on, and he was demonized even further. So this just led to the demonization, you know, he killing his own men, bloodthirsty, ruthless, that kind of thing. And what happened is, I mean, literally, the Bonhomer Shard was so shot up after the battle that it sank. They're still looking for it, by the way. Um, the underwater archaeology section of the Naval History and Heritage Command is out looking for the Bonhomer Shard to this day, but there, that's the English Channel, and there's a lot of debris, and it's very hard to find, and there wouldn't be, well, it's a wooden ship, so all you'd find is a couple of cannon and maybe some of the ballast. But anyway, um, they, they had to go to, to Texel, which is in the Netherlands, which was neutral at that point in time. Uh, they had to go to Texel in the Serapis which was renamed. And then eventually we gave it to, back to the French. Uh, it was supposed to join the American Navy, but at that point we're so poor that we can't afford to refit it. And so it, it ends up in the French Navy.